Assalamualaikum, my name is Widi Mutakin. This is the second part video of developing augmented reality product from A to Z tutorial. In this part, we'll be covering 3D model using Blender. When I made this video, Blender 2.78 just released. So I'll be using that version for this tutorial. As we mentioned before, we wanted to create this 3D model. We call it Carney, a carnivore plant who lives inside a pot. Also, as I mentioned in the previous video, that this tutorial is not for beginners. So you need to know the basic stuff about Blender first before you can follow. Okay, first let's select the default cube and all of these objects which are camera and light. Hit X and click delete. Then create a cylinder by pressing Shift A and choose Mesh Cylinder from the pop-up menu. A new cylinder will be created for you. Okay, now don't do anything else. At the tool shelf down here, we see that this cylinder has 32 vertices or should I say segments on its side, which is too much for our needs. Augmented reality is categorized as real-time application because the 3D objects will be rendered in real-time just like how 3D games work. So making our 3D models as low polygon as possible is something you need to do. In our case, I think 10 vertices should be sufficient. Leave other options to its default values. Okay, now go to edit mode. Make sure every vertices on the object are selected. Go to front viewport by pressing 1. Then move this up a bit so that the bottom part is touching the floor exactly. Okay, rotate the viewport a bit and go to face mode. Select only the top part and hit S to scale and then type 1.2. This will make the size to be 120% of the previous. Next, press E to extrude and then right away, press right click to cancel the height process. We still have the faces but flat out. As we can see, there are several faces in this area actually. Press S again and type 1.1. Okay, now we have something like this. Press E again and type 0.2 unit. Next, we want to insert this face. So let's press I to insert, type 0.2. I think this value is okay. Next, we need to extrude again, but this time downward. We can use negative value for that. So press E and type minus 0.3. That will be enough, I guess. Okay guys, so we now have a pot. Next thing we're going to do is to create the body or the main trunk of Carney. So press I again to insert, type in 0.5, then extrude all the way up by pressing E to extrude and type 7. Now let's make the face smaller by pressing S to scale and type 0.4. Okay, later this face will never be visible because it will go inside the head, so we're going to delete it. This will make unwrapping process a bit easier later. When we add bones later to the trunk and animate it, we wanted the model to flow smoothly. To accommodate the bones and the animation, we need more edge loops on the trunk. Let's add 8 edge loops on the trunk using loop cut and slice command in here, or just by pressing shortcut Ctrl R. In loop cut mode, scroll the mouse up until we have 8 edge loops and then left click. Now we are actually in slide mode. We don't want or don't need any sliding, so just right click to cancel the sliding. Okay guys, so that's how you create the pot and the trunk from a cylinder based object. Next thing we need to do is to create the head of Carney. Before we do anything else, we must first tell which one is front and which one is the back side. The back side of any object that you model inside Blender should always be pointing toward the Y axis which is this green colored axis. It is this way. So negative Y axis, which is this way, should always be considered as front side. Why this is important? It is important because when you go to front viewport by pressing numpad 1, you always want to see the front side. Same goes when you press 3 on the numpad, we want to see the side of it. This will also avoid confusion when we're working with mirror modifier and other mirroring related features in texturing and rigging which use x-axis as the default mirror plane. 
If you don't follow this simple rule, you'll have to do extra steps later down the road. To create the head, we'll be using a cube. So shift A and choose mesh, then cube. Bring this up here. Next, we need to make it more ellipsoid. So go to face mode and extrude. Type 1. Select S to scale it. Make it 0 0.7. We need to do this also to the back side of it. Extrude by 1. Then scale it 0 0.7. Next, add a vertical edge loop using Ctrl R, then scale it by Z axis and make it 1.4. Do this also for the horizontal direction, Ctrl R, and scale it by X axis in 1.4 scaling unit. Now let's work closely with the head. Press slash in the numpad to make it local. Select this vertex in front and one at the back, then press S to scale, type in 1.3. Now we need to delete the bottom part. To select all of the vertices at the bottom part, the easiest way to do this is to go to wireframe mode, then make sure we're still in vertex mode, press A once to unselect all, then while holding the control button, click drag with your left mouse button to select these parts, press X and delete vertices, Press Z again to go to solid mode. Okay, this is the part we want to retain so they attach to the bottom jaw. And this part, we want to make it opens up a bit. Therefore, we need to add surface on this area. So select these three vertices and then press F to fill it. Then these four vertices, F again to fill it with face. Finally, this part with the same process as before. Okay, done. Let's add edges at the center. Use Ctrl R. Then select these two vertices. Then press J. Now select this vertex. Just move this up a bit. Then this one. Move it up again. The last one is this vertex. Just move this back a bit and don't go up. If we go up to the axis, this area will produce hole in the geometry. Okay, go to side view by pressing 3 in the numpad, press Z to go to wireframe mode, and A to unselect all. Now hold control and just click and drag to select all of this part. Make sure we are in the side view. Now press R and type 20 to make it rotate 20 degree clockwise. Now press G to go to grab mode, and then just move this to about this position. Go to solid mode by pressing Z, add mirror modifier and choose only Z for mirror axis. Now we have something like this. At the first glance, it looks good, but notice if I rotate this way, we can see that the triangulation in this nose area isn't good. Same goes with the back side of it. We need to add manual edges in this area to define the geometry and fix this issue. Also at this stage, we want to correct only the left side and make the right side automatically fixed using the mirror modifier. So first go to wireframe mode by pressing Z and select all of the vertices at the right side of Carney's head that will be our left hand side. Press X and choose delete vertices. Now half of Carney's head are gone. Next, just turn on the X axis and Blender now copy the left side to the right side. Okay, after we have that fixed, let's fix the nose and the back side of it. Make sure you are in vertex mode. Select this vertex. Hold shift and select this vertex. Then press J. This will create an edge joining the two vertices. Do the same with the back side of it. Select both of these vertices and then press J. Let's get out from the local view mode by pressing the slash on the numpad and then press tab to go back to object mode. I think the head is too big now for the trunk, so let's scale this a bit to 0.8 of the original size. Let's just move this again, so it is located in the end of the neck. Okay, I think this is good enough. Next, we're going to add teeth and leaves. For the tooth, click in here with your left mouse button to move the 3D cursor 
onto that location. Then shift A, mesh, cube. As to scale it down, I think 0.1 will do good. Let's reposition this cube. Edit mode, grab the face on top of the cube, move this up a bit. Then press X and choose edge collapse. Go to object mode and move the tooth to this position away from the mouth. Go back to edit mode and choose the face down here. Since this won't be visible, let's just remove it. Hit X and face. We are done with the tooth. You might be wondering why only one tooth. Well, because we want to avoid extra works of having to texture multiple teeth. We only want to create one at this stage because later after we texture it, we'll duplicate it into several teeth. Okay, now let's move on to the leaves. Shift A and create a plain object. Move this a bit so we can see it better. Scale it to half of the size by pressing S, then type 0 0.5. Go to edit mode, go to edge mode and grab this edge. Press A to extrude. Activate Y-axis constraint and type minus 0.7, press X and choose Edge Collapse. Do this also with the other end. Ok, now pick this vertex, press Shift and select this one also, then hit J. Ok, Alhamdulillah our model is now finished. Let's rename our 3D model from Cylinder to Carney and save the file. After that, let's move on to the next video where we cover how to unwrap and texture painting our 3D model. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Wassalamualaikum.